All right, here we are again. So now that we've got a profile in here, which is from this little alignment that we have going across here, it's showing us our single surface, which is this fine red line. Let's make another surface out of data that's darn near the same, but in this case here, slightly different, just because of its location. It'll cause the tin, or the triangles in this case, or tin, triangulated, irregular network, to show up in a slightly phased or shifted position. So let's go back to the prospector, back to surfaces. We see we have blocks. If we right click on surfaces, create a new surface. This one I'm going to call text. And then I'm going to change from 1 and 5 design to 1 and 5 background, just so I've got a different color showing up. Say OK. For text, I'm going to define this with the same kind of thing, drawing objects, but instead of using the block objects like before, I'm going to use text objects. Say OK. And now I can do the same thing. I can pick everything. So if it sees a piece of text, you can see all the text kind of highlighted a little bit. If it sees a piece of text, it's going to use that to make another 10. Now I can see in here that I've got very close but definitely different contours for both my pink and green and my gray and gray ones. Since they're sitting underneath this alignment that I've currently got in here, let's see what it looks like in my profile view. So normally, when we go to make a profile view, we'll go here to profile view, create a surface profile. We normally have a choice of one, but in this case, now I've got two, because I have two surfaces. Still only one alignment, but if I add text, I'm going to add that to my group, so I've got block and text in my thing or in my thing, in my profile list, it says right there, I can read. If I change the style of this from existing ground, which is what I've currently got this thing showing up as, it'll show up red like this one, but I built a new one on purpose, existing ground profile 2, just to be a different color. At this point, I would, if I, I would normally say draw in profile view, that would create a brand new view of this, and both views would have two in it, but all I have to do at this point is just say OK. You'll see my cyan line now shows up. And if you had your event viewer in the same window as this, it would have popped up saying, hey, you didn't draw a new profile view in. But in this case, I didn't want it to because I've got one already. Now we can see a little bit of a phase shift that the tin from the text, even though it's at about the same point and at the same slope as the previous one, as you can see, it's still generating the same slope here. It's still making everything off by just kind of an interesting phase. So if you were to use one surface or the other surface to do like the base surface of a comparison, you're going to get all of this little tiny area is going to add up as a cut or a fill. Well, cut depending on the area and fill depending on the, the way that you put it together. So you won't want to use two different surfaces to do any kind of quantities. In this case, this is just a pretty interesting example of a way to build a different surface with a different set of points. And also how to add a surface to an existing alignment. All right, with that, I'm going to pop up here and hit Save. And maybe we'll add some more brick lines in the spillway down here and continue on with this project.